Clint Eastwood gonna tell me to get off his lawn, bro? All right, all right. Look, we're all here to get back. Well, I'm sorry. I don't think I've been more than two days without drinking in the last 15 years. You're here for a while. Do your chores and don't complain. It's pretty easy. Everything's gonna be okay. Welcome to the loony bin. You smell that? Probably from the weirdo for you. Used to keep piss and Ziploc bags under his bed and collect his own eyelashes. I'm gonna need you to contribute, be an asset, and teach these guys something. What's that? That's our 2015 softball championship trophy. We haven't taken it seriously in quite some time. You got this, baby. Go go booming. I keep running. What you focus on will grow. You the man. Like the connections with these guys. Looking for something. And I am trying, guys. Dirty aliens. Something Airspace. I don't know. <laughs> I felt that. I keep losing. The house is going up for auction in three weeks. I got nowhere else to go. You got 10 guys that need this place. 80 grand. Yeah. 80 grand. Pretty nice trophy for softball. We have to practice. Yeah. What are you hitting them? I pretending they're the rice balls. You need to pick out a team name. Backdoor sliders. <laughs> oh. Fever pitch. Oh. Come together by the Skeetles. <laughs> oh. Jerseys. What the hell? <laughs> Are you serious, bro? Well, the C is pretty close to the D on the keyboard, so. Why are you really out here, Mars? I want to be sober. I want to be a rad dad to my little girl. What's up, girl? You got our uniform? I'm not wearing this. I like it. Let's do this. Get free here, get clean here. A whole new world, Fraxel. I know I'm a little fat now. I was very sought after underwear now. No. <laughs> there you go. That was a trailer for Sweet Dreams arriving in theaters on April 12th and digital on demand on April 16th. It's your boy Kuya P. Nerds rule the world. Joining me to talk all things Sweet Dreams is the legend, Bobby Lee, so excited. And my man from Dave, Gator in the building. How are you, gentlemen? Good, Patrick. Good, good. good to Yo, see you, man. It's a pleasure, really. Honestly, uh, I can't believe I'm talking to you right now, Bobby. Uh, y'all, uh, y'all been killing it uh, for years, and now y'all are coming together in, in, in this joint Sweet Dreams. A lot of people that I'm a fan of podcasting, Gator, I seen you doing your thing. Bobby, again, you're a legend to me. Uh, as an Asian Filipino brother over here, huge fan of Tiger Pelly. Uh, I, you've been doing your thing for years. You're an icon to me. Um, but this film, I watched it earlier today. I didn't know, know I was going to cry. I'm going to be real with y'all. Uh, I didn't know it was going to be like a dramedy. And it really touched me, man. I didn't know I needed that right now. Uh, for you both working on this project, I know y'all both been, been through things, again, uh, as fans of y'all for a long time. Uh, what was it like kind of actually in a way, even though you're being a fictional character, you're also kind of channeling yourself in a way, uh, honestly, uh, if I could start with you, Bobby. You know, if, if, well, Patrick, if you know my shit, man, you know that I'm, you know, I'm sober and stuff and I've struggled with it, you know, and, um, you know, I, I got this. I think Theo initially called me and goes, hey, Liza's doing this recovery movie and. I think I, I even before reading the script, I said, let's just do it. I mean, just those two alone, you know what I mean? But then seeing Gaeta and um, Mo and Johnny and everyone in it, I just felt like, dude, let me say something. Just it felt like being in um, doing a podcast with my homies. You know, that's what it felt like. And also it felt, dude, it felt like authentically real when it comes to some of the AA aspects of it. You know what I mean? Like some of the meetings, you know, I was just like, wow, this feels like a real A meeting, you know? And I think that Elijah really got the tone right. And, you know, I was surprised as well. Last week when I saw the movie, you know, I, I thought it was going to be more pure comedy, you know what I mean? But, but, dude, I literally got emotional watching it. Like, some of the music and just the, the pacing of it, I just felt like it was, like, it felt real to me. How about you, Gata? It felt good, man, doing this one, you know? Because I got to be myself, but at the same time, I got to challenge myself. I got to learn new words and, you know, I was able to connect with the the role because I come from a background of addiction. My mom and dad, both drug addicts that are no longer here with me. 
and then my uncles who were alcoholics. So it was easy for me to dive in and believe in the role because this is something that people deal with every day, recovery, addiction. So, yeah, man, I had a blast making this movie. Yo, and, and so and I'm so thankful for you both, man. I really didn't know, again, like I said, what to expect. And I didn't know I needed it. And I hope this finds its audience. Because, uh, again, like you said, Bobby, thought it was going to be straight up comedy. But no, nah, it's a dramedy. And I think it's really for us. I didn't know I needed it right now and still need it, you know, because uh, we all go through things. Um, with that being said, when it also what it also made me reflect on, I'm prior military and that brotherhood you have. And, and like you said, you guys did this partially because of that brotherhood, Bobby. Like you said, with all the different people working on it, like, man, I'm a cosign. I'm going to work on it. So uh, if you could talk about just, you know, diving into these characters and just how deep it did, did it get deep on set, just working with each other and holding each other up. Uh, if I can go back to you, Bobby, Bobby. Yeah, I mean, it felt like, you know, um, we had served a couple of duties in Vietnam. You know what I mean? Like, even the first day, you know, when like, I, I had never met Johnny, and I had never met Gaeta, really. But, I, I mean, I, obviously, I, I, knew, I knew their work. But instantaneously, it felt comfortable. And, um, you know, you know, I, um, I think the Brotherhood is still, you know, usually when you do a movie, you know, you, you, you make friends with people, but then afterwards, you know what I mean, you never see them again. But this was it has it was completely different. Like I still talk to like ninety percent of the people that are involved in the project because I just felt like we were making something special, you know. So um, there was no real egos, you know. Me on set, you know. Everyone, we all had lunches together. We would get like Postmates and we get sandwiches. You know what I mean? And um, you know, what I mean, it was just it was just a fun, very good experience. What are you, Gata? I had a great experience, man. You legendary, Johnny Knoxville was legendary. Oh, my man, oh, no. frozen a little bit. We'll Bobby rock really with it. Made me there he tap is. Into oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm back. Am I back? Am I back? You good? Yeah, you're oh, back. You're back. Yeah. That was great. We got all of it, yeah, man. I, I, yeah, I had a great time doing this one, you know, just being able to tap into my comedic side and, you know, just be inspired by Bobby Lee and working with people that I really look up to. It was fun. You know, who don't love Johnny Knoxville? He's America's favorite jackass. And I had a great time, man. Yeah. I, challenged uh, John, I, man, I wish I had really had more time because uh, okay. I think y'all are both the legends. Uh, Bobby, you're an icon, brother. Uh, I'm honored because I know you don't really give a lot of interviews. Uh, I've checked out Drugstore June recently. You're phenomenal in that. I can't wait till you do more, man. I know they Thank try you, to Patrick. do a lot of stuff, man. I can't wait to see more. I love you, bro. I love you so much. Thank you. All right, hey, everybody. Look, Patty, Pat, Pat. Appreciate you, Gator. Everybody, yeah. my man Bobby Lee, Gator, Sweet Dreams, April 12th in theaters and on demand digital, April 16th. It's your boy Kuya P, Nerds Rule the World. Gentlemen, I appreciate y'all, man. Love you, I love Bobby. you, dude. Thank you, Patrick. Appreciate you guys. You're Take care, best. Gator. Awesome. Clear P with Nerds Rule the World. Bobby Gator, it's a pleasure to chat with you both. Man, appreciate you, bro. All right, let's go. Let me count this in and help me with my edit. Here we go. In a one, two.